paper rustles a lot. Hey there! I had a friend named Russell in school. <laughs> so I was waiting for you to talk. Sorry, okay. Uh, it was worth it. <laughs> and no one likes a good rustling joke. Hey there, you're watching Geek Bum. I am Buzz Bum Lord Garrett. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, so I thought I'd make it worth the wait. Uh, I've got a guest on, you know Sam Bash. I've got hey. host on Source Fed Nerd. Hey! In our rustling hot little hands, we have some fan fiction about Smord, which is us. It's us. So it's, we host together. It's interesting, yeah. And, and apparently Source Fed Nerd is now a dock, and there is a ship mm -hmm. at the dock, and the ship is Smord. Mm -hmm. And We're the passengers. Yeah. Captains? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm You're the, the wood of the ship. I just wasn't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand how this whole thing works. Sam and I get along really, really well. You guys think that it's uh, fun to fantasize us together. Uh. So we're going to read <laughs> <laughs> what you guys have written about this um, relationship. My legs tingled when you said that. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that people have spent time writing down their fantasies. Should I go first? Go ahead. You ready? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just sort of mentally prepared myself. This one is called Xena Princess Bet, and it's by X Bernie B X. Is it bees? Is it bees? I don't know. Could be bees looking in. <clears throat> I wish we could win. <laughs> <laughs> did I, oh, did you start? <laughs> no, no, I can't do it. I think it's on the um, point of view from you. You're writing this, Sam. So this is like an excerpt from your journal. Mm -hmm. It's always in your view, apparently. Um, I do want to preface by saying that I have read other fan fiction about Suftic and I, and that was graphic. Oh. So I think, yeah, I like had sex with him so hard that I sucked his soul out of his body. That's about right. So this is, I think, a little bit more delicate because they think that we're nice and delicate. Oh, there Ready? we go. Mm -hmm. I wake up early in the morning as usual on my job at SourceFit. I hop into the shower and got dressed. I wore my favorite cat sweater and purple skinny jeans. This is dated. You remember <laughs> that dated. face? <laughs> yes. You remember that? I like those jeans. <laughs> I did my usual swoop over for my hair. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I reached the kitchen to see Steve, oh, when you were alone, yeah, making himself coffee in his burger mug, and cereal in his Star Wars bowl. Sammy! Steve booms. I spill some hot water on the counter. You can, this is you. Oh, oh gee, Steve. I say. You're going to wake up Darren and Will. They already left, Steve mentions. I pour my coffee mug and I sit next to Steve at the table. So Bree and I couldn't help but notice you constantly looking at Maud in the writer's room, Steve teases. I, I choke on my coffee, spilling some on, on my sweater. I nervously wipe it off. Have you ever had coffee on your sweater before you come? No. You don't drink coffee. No, not really. Neither does Steve. Steve doesn't drink coffee in the morning. No. This is completely impossible. Okay, well. <laughs> this is unbelievable at this point now. <laughs> Ever since that cheek kiss she gave you in the Jon Snow video. Wow, they knew that that was from the video. What Remember chance? that time I smacked you and then I felt really bad, so I launched it and I gave you a kiss on the cheek as a, to make up for it? Go for it. You can do better than that. Ah! No, this is so dated. This yeah. is, I was a baby. Don't say that. You've been like Will when he liked Rena, he adds. I still, uh, I still continue to drink my coffee. I know I'm putting you on blast, but admit it. Both you and Maud got chemistry. I gulped down the last of my coffee and set it down on the table and sigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a slight crush on her. I admit, Steve wears his cheeky smile. Atta boy, Sam! Good luck, see Maud today. He finishes and put, he puts his dishes in the sink. I like Telling the story about mm -hmm. the dishes and what. Painting a picture. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what do you mean? I question as I do the same. You'll see, Steve says as he leaves the apartment. I ended up washing both Steve's dishes, but it wasn't much. I grab my car keys and my phone and I head out. I drive in the parking lot and park my car and I walk into the source fed offices to be greeted by Stephen Subdick. Subdick! I call out. He was eating a bagel in one hand and soda in the other. How's that scar that Maude gave you? Oh, that's after the video that I did where I had to throw headphones yeah. at him and cut his forehead open. Ugh. Why do you think I just threw a headset at your face? I oh, I love that that gets a mention. Um, it's doing fine. He muffles as he takes another bite out of his bagel. It's not bleeding as much. He takes a sip out of his soda, making a slurping sound, which makes me twitch. It's a pet peeve. Is it? Yeah. Really? Slurping is, yeah, for sure. Unless this is something that they put in there, but yeah, hearing people slurp like right here. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, I'll talk to you later. Gotta start looking at some nerd news. Oh, that's what you say. Ah. I say as we go our separate ways. I walk into the writer's room and open up my computer. I type in reddit.com slash r slash nerd news into my search bar and the page pops up. Of course. <clears throat> Hi, Sam. 
I hear a distinctive Australian accent echo throughout the room. Oh, should I do you? No. Oh, yeah, you Shut say up. It. Sorry, go ahead. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I'm gonna think about. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, you said go. Oh, wait, you said. <laughs> I peek over my computer to see it was the beautiful Maud. She wore. <laughs> she. <laughs> she wore her Death Star shirt and dark grey jeans. That's so specific. Hey! I beam with my smile. Check the nerd news and scroll to the second to the last entry. She says as she makes her way over to me. I follow what she says and I see the headline, Xena, Warrior Princess reboot is officially dead. My mouth drops to the floor. I click the link and read that they had some different opinions and threw the script out because of those differences. I remember back to when we, the video we made. If I predicted that the reboot was true, Maud would take me to Outback Steakhouse. Oh my God, do you yeah, remember that? Yeah. This is true. Mm -hmm. I bet you, Maud Garrett of Earth, uh, I bet you to, I think um, I'll- You bet me a rodent and a jello fight. Mm. A gummy worm and a compliment? No. If these things come true, you have to take me to Outback Steakhouse. Well, if I'm right, and I predicted the truth, you have to watch The Princess Bride with me, from start to finish. <laughs> and I'm gonna quote every single word. And we have to drink every time Wesley says, as you wish. And even when she says, as you wish, when she's rolling down the hill before they go into the fire swamp. Oh, it's happening. Fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> At the time, I wanted to ask her out in a not obvious type of way, if it was true. However, Maud proposed that if they lied about the reboot, I would have to watch The Princess Bride with her, because she knows how much I hate and loathe The Princess Bride. I hope you're looking forward to watching it, because it's happening, Maud whispers into my left ear. I feel shivers as she scurries away. I'm gonna be real, I don't like when people whisper into my ear. It's so uncomfortable. All I hear is lip, lip sounds and Continue. I officially finished filming the last Surfsfed nerd news for the day with Steve. <laughs> Maud incoming, he belches as I, um, I waft away the smell as Maud grabs my hand. Princess Bride time, she sings. Damn what I would do, Princess Bride time. Mm -hmm. um, her hands were soft like a baby's butt. It is damp. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking a fantasy here. Oh, sorry, I'm nice. <laughs> breaking it. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> but however, warm. Can you verify? Frozen. Mm -hmm. Great. Wet and frozen. Great. Uh huh. <laughs> Which made me uncomfortable. But I'm with Smart, so it's not so bad. She guides me to the blue room as we jump onto the couch. The television was already rolling into the intro screen. Maud leans forward and opens up a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> wow. Wait, we're still at work? <laughs> Yeah. I think we finished work. Yeah. <laughs> and sloppily pours uh, some into two shot glasses. This is how I drink the Princess Bride with you. Whoops! <laughs> there you go, with my warm baby hands. <laughs> Why whiskey? Why not whipped cream vodka? Is that something that you would say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I whine as she hands me a shot. Oh, shush. We're starting it off with a victory for me, she claims as she slams her shot glass and downs it quickly. That's about right. Yeah. I take my shot and I feel the burn in my throat. Oh, it's starting. Let the quoting begin. She announces as she begins to quote every single word of the movie. I would start by singing the baseball music or video game. Dun 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 dun. dun. For Princess Bride. Dun 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 dun. dun. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, the kids playing it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, mm -hmm. I hated it. But, some, but somehow being here with Maud sort of makes up for it. it Somewhat of a date I wanted. A few shots in, I feel a slight buzz. Maud continuously quotes the movie. I couldn't help but find it cute. I didn't realize that I started to do the cheesy attempts. I yawn loudly, stretching my hands above my head, and put my left arm around her. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maud didn't seem to notice she was busy. I look over my shoulder to see Steve humping the air and Will holding a sign that says, Sam's going to smash. <laughs> While Bree is giving we're, we're me two thumbs doing this near a window? <laughs> <laughs> my head falls to my right. These were the people that I work with. Sam, 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 more repeatedly slaps my left leg. Um, they say I do, shots. She beams as she pours us another. This is gonna be a long movie. The final scene ended as the credits begin to roll. I was drop dead drunk. We finished the bottle of whiskey because apparently Maud pours way too much. That's about right. Hey Ma, can you hold this? Did you purposely sound drunk then? Yeah. Hey. hey. Sure thing, Samuel Daniels. Maud slurs as she offers her hand. Without me thinking, I put mine in hers and we interlock hands. She leans back on the couch and tucks her head on my shoulder. She didn't, what? She didn't to mind and neither did I. It was pleasant. 
My God, Sam, we're so tinkled, she murmured. <laughs> tinkled? What's that? I reply, <laughs> leaning my head back to the edge of the couch. It's like fickled when you're craving a pickle and want to tinkle. <laughs> Does they mean tickle? <laughs> <laughs> she answers slowly. It's super metaphysical. I'm getting real tired. I'm ready to crash. I agree. Let's just take a little cat nap. She yawns also. <sighs> My eyes drift to more. A piece of her hair was dangling over her eyes. I brush it slowly and it behind her ear. She... Ear. Yeah. She... Uh, my cheek leans against the top of her head. I kiss the top of her head as I drift into sleep, satisfied with the recent events. There is no... That's like... We didn't even... Nothing happened. Nothing no, happened! Nothing happened. I it's got very you drunk mm -hmm. and we watched Princess Bride. That's actually kind of perfect, mm -hmm. but... Um, that's sweet. That's really tame. That's I got. I saw one with Brie and myself. Mm -hmm. Basically, Phil was like, it's team building time. Brie and Sam, get in there. There's three challenges. One, get mm -hmm. naked. Two, Shower together. Three, have sex. Have sex. <laughs> yeah, have sex. And <laughs> apparently at the end, everyone was watching, like everybody in the office, and everyone, we come out and they're cheering. They're like, wow, yeah. Wow, like amazing initiation. All right. Well done. I've got one here. Mm -hmm. It's called, I believe it's called Her. Mm -hmm. Her mm -hmm. by the Unexpected Shipper. Right. Uh, it's like a journal entry as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Day one, perfect. It was a completely unspectacular Monday. She arrived at 8 a.m. She was nervous. She was loud. She was slightly crude. She was perfect. Now we're going to jump ahead a little bit in this uh, journal ent entry. Day 25, denial. Oh. There were glances, soft smiles, nothing more. There couldn't be. Work, friendship, but those eyes. Those beautiful eyes made denial harder. Day 49. <laughs> Day 49. The laugh. Uh, <laughs> making her laugh. It's my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> For selfish reasons. Her laugh gives me hope. Her laugh gives me warmth. Her laugh gives me strength to hold on. Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> what about when I actually physically hold my belly when I laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Does that get you going? <laughs> Day 72. Ooh, what's this like? Three and a bit months, three and a half months again. Him. That's is that a, me? No, this is all, they, each day has a title. This is, oh. We had perfect, denial, laughter, him. him. Mm -hmm. It's all caps. I noticed the distance. I noticed the word him. There was a him now. I never knew I could the three simple letters so much. Yeah. I hate the three simple letters yeah, so much. Yeah. Him. 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 There's a him. So I have a him. You have a him. Oh. The her has a him, and uh. this him is not happy about the other him. Day 92, smile. I try to smile. <laughs> she notices, but says nothing. Another glance. Another smile. Laughter caused by someone else. Another shatter to my heart. That's really sad. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. <laughs> Day 127, I decided friendship. Friendship was a bond between me her, not him. <laughs> Day 146, hatred. What? A tear, hatred, <laughs> all because of him. A hesitant hand extended, a glance, a hug, a glimmer of hope. So you guys got in a fight and now I'm swooping in. Oh. And day 127, uh, day 146, I'm yep. sorry. Day 170, chance, a chance. A soft whisper of a question, a look of confusion in your eyes, a smirk. I guess a date. Oh, we got a date. Hey. Yeah, this one's a little more real than the other one. Wow. Day 174. Only how did four that days date later. go? This is date. How did I, how did, oh, it is the date. It's the date. Oh, Ready? Right. You had to make me wait four days for our date. We were working, obviously. Dinner. I wear a tie. Oh. She wears a dress. Yeah. We find a park, a hand, the hand, her hand. My hand pulls her to a stop. Soft laughter. <laughs> <laughs> My heart soars. For selfish reasons, of course. I pull her close. A kiss. <gasps> Hope. Warmth. Promise. <laughs> Day 227. Her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not a romantic <laughs> date to you. It's dinner. I've got a tie. You're in a no, dress. No, I had to wait two pages to get a kiss on the phone. Yeah, I'm barely halfway down. And this, <laughs> this person doesn't skip a beat. We're skipping all the boring parts. Oh my god, it was like yeah, the Star Wars bowl. Mm -hmm. the cereal. Like, you had to wash it up. I'm sure, but like that paints a picture. This is more poetry. I like this. Mm -hmm. Day 100. Not that I didn't like that one. It was a good one. Attention to detail. Day 227. Her. 
It was a completely unspectacular Monday. I couldn't stop myself from saying it to her. I wasn't sure it was heard. Her eyes met, her eyes meet mine. A soft response comes from her. I pull, I pull her close. Her. It's always been her. Oh, that's actually quite lovely. It's pretty sweet. I thought we were getting the dirt, like the nasty. I didn't. Like the... Okay, so I didn't read these before oh, I printed okay. them out. I didn't know what they would entail. <sighs> Thank I'm... God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually kind of like the good intro step because mm. now obviously everyone's just gonna write some more graphic shit out there. Thank God, I was. Well, you've already worried. done three, and I sucked someone's soul out from writing them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. I have to get something to. I have to read that to him. You have to. Okay. You have to have him read it. Oh. You have to have him I wouldn't, read it. I wouldn't. I'm just not good like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching Smord Reads Fanfic. Uh, very G-rated. You could share this yeah. one with children if you would like. With your right kids. Hand. Yeah. Maybe they could learn a move about the art of not going into the wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Just pour endless shots during Princess Bride. Or honestly, that would work in the reverse. Like if someone was doing that for me, I'd be like. Forehead kiss. Of course it would. Yeah. Of course it would. Yeah. Of course it would. Did you did you think that any of that kind of painted a picture that was true to you? If things that I do. Yeah. Uh, and the cat sweater, the purple pants. Yeah. Do you love my laugh? You got a good laugh. You got a good laugh. Thanks, friend. Mm -hmm. What just cracked then? Uh, shoulder and elbow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do want more Geek Bomb stuff, we usually talk about what we're playing, watching, reading, and doing in Powered. Uh, you've done one of those as well. Yes. Yeah, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. Stick around. Bye. Hey, where can people find you? Oh, go check out Only Stupid Answers on SoundCloud and iTunes. It's an awesome podcast with DJ and I, and, and we talk about nerdy shit. Yeah. Oh, and Twitter at Sam Basher. And you got a YouTube page. And a YouTube page at Sam Basher. Thank you, guns. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Thanks. Uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>